Let's take a look at how we can delete a network printer port in Windows Server 2019. Now this also works in 2016 and 2012. In 2008 there's a slightly different way to do it, so I will show you that at the end of this video. So if you go to Tools and go to Print Management, and all uh, 2019 and 2016 servers are going to have this by default. In 2012 you may have to install it as a feature in Add Roles and Features. All right, so now we are in our print management, and it's showing us a list of printers. If you expand the print servers and then the server, then you see printers. So I have this printer here. It's an OfficeJet 4630. That's a network printer. And I'm going to right-click on it and go to Properties. Now that I'm in Properties, I'm going to click on Ports. And I'll expand the ports. And we see we've got two ports. Well, I no longer need this 151 port. The problem is it's really difficult to delete it. So if I'm on 250 and it's checked, let's say I want to delete to, uh, 151, I click on it and it automatically checks the box. So how do we get rid of it? Well, instead of left clicking on it, we're going to right click on it. So when I right click on it, I select it, but I don't check the box. Now I can delete the port, click OK, port's gone, close, and now done. Now, if you're on a Windows 2008 server, it's a similar process, a little bit different, though. We're going to go to our Printers folder. So you go to uh, Control Panel Items and then open up your Printers folder. And when you're in there, that's when you're going to right-click onto your printer, go to Printer Properties. So instead of going to Properties, we go to Printer Properties. And we click on Ports. And then we just do the same thing. This looks exactly like we had it before. Now, I've already deleted this port, so it's not there. But you would just right-click on it and choose Delete, and then it would get rid of the port that you don't want. So that's how you delete a network port in Windows Server.